Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Linux Unix Tech Channel, your host here Dan Calloway, and today we're going to be looking at Manjaro KDE 17.1. Uh, I'm going to demo some things in that operating system, and so let's get into it. virtual box here, uh, Oracle. I'm going to go ahead and fire up Manjaro KD 17.1. Um, and uh, let's, to do that, I'm going to go up to the Start button here and click on it. And that's going to fire up the operating system. Uh, and it's going to go through uh, a boot phase, uh, just like any other Linux operating system. <coughs> I'm going to hit the Enter key here and uh, let it boot up. It does take a few minutes, or a few seconds rather, not a, not a few minutes, but a few seconds to come up to the login screen. Now we're at the login screen here, so let's go ahead and put in the password for Dan Calloway. And uh, hit login or just hit enter, and um, and it'll complete its login phase, and get into the operating system. This is the K desktop environment, version 17.1.11. Okay, uh, I've got a box up here. Let me go and close that. And uh, a couple of other things are propping up, so I'm going to close them as well. Uh, and then I'll get into the review here of Manjaro. Okay, so this is Manjaro, 17.1 uh, Linux. And let's go ahead and click on Dolphin, bring that up. And uh, Dolphin is the file manager for KDE. Alright, so um, click on Documents. There's nothing in there. I'm going to See if I have anything in the pictures folder. Um, probably do. Yeah, I've got a couple of things. I'm going to go ahead and double click on this image and bring it up in uh, Gwen View. Gwen View is one of the applications for viewing images. It's pretty nice. Uh, so here it is. And um, so you're looking at an image of my status of my firewall here. Okay, so let's go ahead and close Dolphin. And next thing I want to do is come back down to the menu. And let's go uh, up and let's click on uh, Web Browser and let's bring the web browser up. Uh, I've installed Firefox as the default. I think it comes with Firefox by default as well. You can install pretty much any browser you want to here in this Linux distro. Now, this is uh, Kadaza. Uh, dot com. I'm going to click on Tech News and uh, take you out to Tech News. I'm going to select ARS Technica and um, I can just bring up uh, you know my Tech News favorites that I want to bring up here in Kadaza.com. Okay, I've also got uh, a U block um, blocking ads and other things. I'm going to click on that and show you. Um, gives you some statistics on what it's been blocking here on the page and on this uh, on in the browser itself. So it's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and close the web browser now and get back to the menu again. And uh, this time let's come up to uh, the word processor and let's take a look at that. Um, by default, it's LibreOffice 6. Uh, I'm going to install probably uh, only Office and WFPS Office 2016 at some point in this operating system. But it does come with LibreOffice and um, here it is. Uh, I've got the breeze dark theme so it's got that theme applied as well here on the app. Um, but let's go up to um, 
help and about. And so let's take a look. And we've got LibreOffice uh, 6.0.5.2. I'm going to go ahead and close this now and uh, close LibreOffice as well. Let's come back to the menu. And let's come up to the next thing we want to get into probably is the terminal. All right. And in the terminal, I'm going to uh, do a couple things. Um, I'm going to take a look at, uh, do a uname R, and we have 4.14.51. Uh, or 53.1 Manjaro. Um, IF config is not a command for finding your IP address in Manjaro. I want to clear the screen. Uh, the command you need to use is different, so I'll, I'll show you that in a moment. Let's go with uh, Pacman dash capital S Y U that updates the system, but I need to be root to do that, so I'm going to issue the uh, S U for root and get in the uh, as root uh, with the password. I'll reissue that command, and now it's going to go ahead and um, um, install uh, the updates here to Manjaro. There are quite a few of them. Um, in fact, there's uh, 595 some megabytes. That's quite a few files. I'm going to go ahead and say yes to this. At some point, I will pause the video and come back after it's completed, and then move on to the next phase. I don't want to, to bore you with all of these uh, updates here, uh, but we uh, will want to, you know, we do want to show you rather uh, some of these installing. Uh, this process can be slow at times, <clears throat> and, but it's usually pretty fast. I've got a pretty fast connection, I've got a 200 uh, megabit per second down connection so it should go feather fairly rapidly but I will pause the video because it's way too long it takes about 25 minutes here to update the system if it hasn't been updated okay Uh, probably be pausing it pretty soon here. Okay, so that was completed. It took about 25 minutes. Next thing I want to do now is issue the uh, um, command here for uh, IP address. It's IP ADDR. And we do have 192.168.1.137 here, slash 24, as the IP address. I'm going to ping the server and see if we have a good route to the remote server. So I'm going to issue the ping command to 192.168.1.157. Looks like we've got a pretty good ping. And then, uh, all right, so now that we're as root, we're going to go ahead and check um, to see if SSH is running on our system. So I'm going to issue a system CTL status, and SSHD in here it is not running. It's inactive. So I'm going to go ahead and issue the system CTL command to start the SSH daemon. All right, then we're going to check the status again, so an up arrow and get the status. And uh, now you can see that it is active and running. I'm going to make this permanent by issuing a systemctl enable command. Uh, and that will create some symlinks to make it uh, permanent. So I need to clear out the start, type in enable, hit enter. And so it did make it permanent now. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to clear the screen. And let's check out the SSH. So I'm going to do SSH root at 192.168.1.157. I'm going to put in the password for my remote server. And I'm in now. All right, so I'm going to navigate to uh, the shares uh, public side of my private, uh, of my personal cloud to the shared pictures uh, directory. And then I'm going to issue a long listing here, human readable. And I'm, I'm going to copy all of these from the Bridges uh, folder. So I'm going to issue a secure copy command. Uh, 
at um, or secure copy command rather bridges all files to data pioneer at 192.168.1.137 which was the IP address we had colon and then where to put it which is home data pioneer pictures hit the enter command or enter key rather and I'm going to say yes here and then enter the password for data pioneer and it should start the copy process and now these files are being securely copied to the pictures directory in Manjaro. So if somebody's sniffing packets, they would not be able to see what we were doing here. It's a 128-bit RSA encryption. When this is completed, I'll go back out in uh, Manjaro and see if they actually copied down to that folder. All right, so let's get out of this and let's go into, um, yeah, let's get back into the file manager and let's go up to the pictures directory or the pictures folder here and let's see if those copied down. And they sure did. So all of them are there uh, from the bridges directory and my personal cloud uh, down to the Manjaro pictures directory. Okay, so let's get out of that. I'm going to close it and uh, get back to the desktop. The next thing I want to do is take a look at some of the things we have on the taskbar down here. we got the workspaces here, and we've got your um, start menu. And then off to the right here, we have um, you know, your desktop, your trash, your network settings. I've got a, a, a wired connection there, clipboard here uh, with various things in it. And I've got the audio control for volume here for microphone and regular audio. Alright, and so let's, uh, let's take a look at some other things here. Um, clicking on uh, Gwenview and so, or not Gwenview, but I'm sorry, the uh, spec Spectre, I guess it's called, uh, or Spectacle. And so we're going to open that up and uh, take a look at the uh, snapshots that you can take of the system on your desktop. <clears throat> and um, and so here I can uh, take a complete uh, snapshot of the desktop and save it to my pictures folder. Uh, and so let's go back into the pictures and let's find it. Uh, and there it is. And it opens up in Gwynview, which is pretty nice. All right, so um, got a widget out there. Got an analog clock out on the desktop there. Okay, so now let's get into system settings and take a look at some things in the system settings. Um, and now we're looking at uh, here. Uh, we can look at. Uh, the kernel, hardware configuration kernel. We can look at, uh, see, we're using Linux uh, 4.14.57 1 here, um, kernel. Um, we can look at language packages, time and date. Uh, so I can check my time and date, set that if I need to. Time zone is America, New York. Um, adjust for daylight savings time. All right, so uh, here I'm looking at the uh, look and feel. Uh, it's a breeze dark look and feel. I'm going to click on uh, desktop theme next. And uh, with the desktop theme, uh, you can see that I am running um, the, uh, the breeze dark desktop theme as well. Okay. And um, let's see, let's go on down. You can look at uh, workspaces here. Um, you can get into personalization. A lot of a lot of different uh, features here. Network and hardware as well. Let's go to display and monitor. You can see we've got a VGA monitor here, uh, and it's uh, it's actually hooked to HDMI, but it's uh, set for 1920 by 1080, which is HD widescreen. Um, monitor and it did that by default by the way I didn't have to tweak it at all ok 
came up that way. So that's nice. All right, so let's uh, go back to the desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and shut the system down. So I'm going to click on shut down, and then I'm going to say OK, and there we go. So this has been a review of Manjaro, KDE Linux 17.1. Have a nice day.